I don't know what the chances are of me getting this test flight in and getting the video edited before 12 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock right now. Five hours isn't very long in the YouTube world. Well guys, the sun's just come up. I had to get up early this morning to get this video put together for the 12 o'clock release time. I had to work all weekend, so I'm behind the eight ball on this update. We've all been itching for an update for a while, but they put this one out on a weird day. <laughs> I got a procedure scheduled for tomorrow, so I can't have anything in my coffee. I'm on a clear liquid diet for today, so my coffee's black. And my research has shown that serial killers like black coffee. Do any of you guys like black coffee? I think Christy likes black coffee. It's like 50 something degrees this morning with no wind. It'd be the perfect day to test out the Ruko drone that we tested out last week. You guys remember the clickbait video. <laughs> we're here at our spot and we're in the clear. Put this in my pocket. I don't know why I always laugh when I say I'm gonna put something in my pocket. DJI came out with the fly app update, the 1.13.0 for the DJI Avada 2 for the release of that. Well, they've also, again, focused on the DJI Mini 2. I know that you guys are amazed, just like I am, but at the very bottom, again, it says, what's fixed? Fixed certain issues and optimized overall app quality. They've been putting that in there ever since the DJI Mini 2 was released, so that's how I know this is applicable to the DJI Mini 2. So that's what we're going to test today. I'm going to go get Rose out of the box. Now let me get this update installed, and while I do that, I'm going to go get Rose. Ugh. Well, this is Rose, one of our DJI Mini 2 drones. She's the one that we keep updated to the most recent updates so we can do these tests. But see what she's wearing? She's wearing her Holy Stone RID. Do you guys see how the module's blinking really slow green? That means it's emitting the signal. I'm gonna get all this stuff started up here and make sure that nothing's been changed on the Fly app. Well, what everybody's talking about that's been added to this, I guess, is the quick transfer. I'm not going to go over any of this stuff. There's plenty of videos out there now that have gone over all this stuff. The only thing I want to do is I want to get out and do a test flight with Rose with our DJI Mini 2. I'm going to go fly. We have zero satellites. I want to get her on the back of the truck so she can get her satellites, and we can go through this uh, system here, make sure that nothing's been changed. So real quick, what are we going to do? We're going to do a signal test. We're going to go out like 1,500 feet. We're going to make sure that the signal is still good because this is an area that we've never had problems with. We're going to do a return to home test to make sure she can find her home spot. And then we're going to do a probably a droney or signature droney. We haven't done one of those in a while because there hasn't been an update in forever. Home point updated. Yep, her voice is the same. <laughs> it hasn't changed. So let's go through this here. Uh, my return to home altitude is pretty high. I don't know why that's changed. I usually have it at 164 feet. We've got the di max distance set at 1,476 feet, so that's how far we're going to go today. <laughs> Control, we're still under the Imperial. This all looks exactly the same. I don't see any differences here. The camera, as everybody knows, I know nothing about the camera. So we'll go to transmission, make sure that it looks good. We're on the... We'll go to the dual band. I don't know why I went to the 2.4. Wow, that looks pretty bad. Let me go to 2.4 and see if it's clean. No. Is 5.8 clean? Yeah, 5.8's clean. Let's go to dual band and see which one it picks. Looks like it's picked the 5.8 now, so I think we're good there. All right, the About tab. We're using DJI Mini 2 Rose. Her firmware version is 1.07.0200, and her fly app version is the brand new 1.13.0. Okay, so nothing's changed in the settings. It's always good to check those settings because you know they say that the settings get changed from time to time when you do these updates. So I think we're ready to go. We've got uh, 21 satellites. That gained the satellites pretty fast. Let me check the screen here and make sure that I've got the large text on. I don't even remember where to find that. Is large text even still an option? <laughs> oh, there it is. Larger text. Let me go with that. It's under control, guys. All right, so that looks a lot better on the screen to me, and now I can actually see what I'm seeing. The great John Madden used to say, you got to be able to see, because if you can't see, you don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> Anyway, I heard a comedian say that, and I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, enough of that joking around. Let's get Rose started up here, see if she can Take cover off. with the best of them, like she always does. Home point updated. All right, so she is. Wow, look how steady she is. Let me go left and right. And she's low, too, so if she's getting any of that updraft, it's not affecting her at all. Wow. That's, that's about as good as I've ever seen her hover. All right, well, she's had enough time, I think. <laughs> Let's get her up in the air here. I'm going to go up about... It's kind of dark outside, isn't it? I'm still wearing my sunglasses, though. <laughs> Let's get her up about, I don't know, 100 feet, give or take. And we're going to aim her to the left. I'm going to pull the gimbal down. And this is going to be our um, signal test. 
So let's just fly straight out here. I'm pointing directly at her. She's actually floating to the left again. So her IMU is messed up still, or again. That kind of stinks. Her horizon looks like it might be tilted too. What do you guys think? All right, so we're out five, 400 feet here. Signal's still perfect. This isn't an IMU test. This is strictly just a signal test, right? <laughs> we're not testing the IMU today. So we're out 700 feet. Still the perfect, or the signal's perfect. Had no no hiccups. 800 feet. Man, it looks a lot different with the uh, with the the low sun or low visibility, I guess. <laughs> We're at 1,100 feet, perfect signal. Man, this is this is as good as it can get, I think. So we're at 1,300 feet, coming up on 1,400 feet, and we've lost the bar, but it came back. So we're out to the 1,500 foot mark that we've got it set at. That's as far as she's going to go, and we have lost one bar. So I think that that's I think that's good. All right, cool. Let me get her turned around because we all know that's that she's going to do. Reached. You're a little late to the party there, Martha. <laughs> Let's get turned around here. Because you know how a lot of times she only does that 30-degree uh, turn to come home, which or 90-degree turn to come home, which is weird. So let me hit return to home. She's going to raise up to 160 feet, and then she's going to come home. Let me pull the gimbal down a little bit more. Look at that. That's a that's a cool view. I might want to record this. That might be cool for some uh, B-roll. <laughs> All right, well, she's heading straight home. Can I still speed her up? Let me, let me push forward on the... Let me push forward here on this right stick. Yep, I sure can. That's cool. I think, again, that's something that the DJI Mini 2 can do that the 4 can't, right? I forget. <laughs> I, have to, I have to try that. I'm going to update the Mini 4 too, but, uh, or the Mini 4 also, but I just haven't gotten to that point yet. I just woke up, guys. All right, so she's coming in for the, for the precision landing, right? I want to see how close she can get to the landing spot. I hope she's at least on the truck bed. <laughs> I'm pulling the gimbal all the way down so we can see where she's at or where she's coming. She's going to do the gimbal shake. Again, that's nothing new. I'll pull the gimbal back down. We'll see how close she is to the to the home point. So it looks like she's off the truck. Landing. So if she's going to continue coming down. I got to get out. If she's going to continue coming down and not not land on the truck, that could be a that could be bad. So I'm going to stop her. But it looks like wow, she's looking like she's close. Look how close you are, Rose. You're getting close. She's not that far off, is she? She's probably a couple of feet off at the most, which is normal. And is, the good news is, is that she's aiming for the truck. Hi, Rose. Let's see, come on. I can speed your landing up if you want. <laughs> let's, see where, let's see where she lands. Oh, it says area under aircraft unsuitable for landing. Let me try this again. Uh, she made it pretty close, so I think that she only was, uh, what, two, two or three feet off. So let's get her back up in the air. We're going to do a, uh, let me get back in the truck here. <laughs> All right, so she's passed. She, let me get her forward of us so we can get ready for the, whoa, I didn't realize she was so low. <laughs> let me get her forward of us so, so we can do the, uh, oh, I remember how we do that. We always have her directly on top of us, and then she does the droney from on top of us, right? So she passed the signal test, and she's passed the return to home test, so now it's time to try to pass the droney test. So i got to get her up. I'm not sure how far. Say what? 30 feet, maybe? And we'll get her put right above the truck here. Then we'll get, in, we'll get into position here, and then we'll, we'll do a droney. She likes to go really slow in that mode. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop recording. I'm gonna go to quick shots. Droney. I wanna draw a box around the truck here. And it picked up the truck. The distance is, we're gonna go, I wanna go 260 feet. All right, guys, wish her luck. <laughs> Three, two, one. I really like how her voice is so well synced up with the screen and, and the, the countdown three, two, one. Man, I wish that they would do that with the Mini Four and make it make it work the way it's supposed to. But there she goes. She's backing straight up and doing her droney, and she's going to go out quite a ways. And uh, we might actually get some of the lake in view instead of just the tree line and the in the road. <laughs> but she's got the skyline reveal, which is nice. Well, the horizon looks like it's straightened out. 
So maybe it was just, well, no, maybe it looks like the left side is a little bit high. So I think her gimbal might be off. All right, quick shot's complete. She's coming back to her starting point. Let's make sure that she can do that. I know that some people were saying that she was having an issue with the gimbal rising uh, on the return return to the location flight whenever they do a quick shot, but I don't see that problem as an issue. I don't see that as an issue. All right, so she's coming down, even pulling her gimbal all the way down. Is she going to pull it all the way down is a question. So she's five. Nah, she didn't pull it all the way down, but that's close enough. Whoa. Wow, that was, that was close. All right, guys, I just got a little bit uh, flustered there. Anyway, let me get her landed. We'll have a little chat. <laughs> Have a little talk. <laughs> Rose, you did about as well as we could ask. Good job. <laughs> Land. Landing. Well, all in all, Rose did perfect. She passed the signal test, she passed the return to home test, and she passed the drony test. So, great job. The 1.13.0 worked perfect for us. As I always say, I can't say it's going to work perfect for you. You guys updated your own risk. I hope that you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. God bless. Now let's get home and speed at it. <laughs>